Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Let's go find that Mirror of Ra that we were looking for. Holy crap, two zombies! Nuts. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight to Fireball because, who knows, they, they might be defending. That, that would make it, well, annoying, really. And besides, I've got plenty of medical alerts. I'm doing, actually, pretty well so far. Yeah, you see how he was defending there? It says stood guard, but... Damn it, I didn't want to parry. Well, at least he hit the right guy, but... Oh, I guess I wouldn't have done much good anyway. Well, there we are. These guys have a spell they can cast on you, but... Looks like they're not going to cast it on me today. Oh, well. All right, got him. Probably want to use a medical herb on Orpheo there. How many do I have left? I have two left. Well, this is going to be close, folks. But, yeah, let's use that one. Come on. No! Lizard flies. Crap. Uh, fireball. Kill them. Kill them. They're basically... Well, actually, they're not that hard. They're basically the same thing as magicians, except stop spell doesn't work on them nearly as well. So, you just gotta go all out, attack them as quickly as possible. They cast Fireball, and we'll kill you! <sighs> Got fairly lucky there. Maybe I'm just panicking a little bit from those guys because of their cousins later in the game! Oh, I remember their cousins. Oh, boy. Alright, we made it. Let's get out of the swamp. Actually, from what I recall in the Game Boy Color version, the castle wasn't originally in a swamp. It was, well, in, you know, Grassy Plains area. But then after it was attacked, it was, well, they turned it into a swamp. So, now we got a new, well, I don't know if it's a new enemy, but an enemy I didn't show earlier. Healers. They do what you think they do. They cast heal all the time. That's all they do. So, you want to take them out before going after the zombie here. So... And now, there's only one of them, so I, when it's down to one zombie, that's when I start attacking. Okay, now this is a new spell, Surround. What it does is, well, it didn't work too well on me, obviously, but it reduces your hit percentage a little bit, so that way, well, you can't hit your targets as easily. Kind of like the Darkness status element in a Final Fantasy game. Okay, there's a little swamp that we were told about. Okay, got another new enemy, Smoke. Um, I think they cast Stop Spell on us. Well, I guess we won't find out today, but anyway, use Stop Spell. Come on, get Stop Spell. Stop Spell! There we go. And then just take these guys out with my normal physical attacks there. Wow, even Orpheo can kill those guys. That is sad. Holy cow. But yeah, cast Stop Spell on them so that way they can't put you to sleep anymore. Alright, got it. Let's move on up. Game? <sighs> well, we're doing okay. I haven't ran into any baboons so far, so we're in pretty good shape. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to need to cast, uh, what is it, Fireball anymore, so let's just use a heal spell. Okay, now remember they said a swamp where you can see four bridges? That's where we are now. So let's search here to... Let's search here to find the Mirror of Ra! There we go. Now, if you have a Wing of the Wyvern, you could use it to get back. I do not. So, I'm going to walk back the hard way, and, well, this might take a little while. I might as well show the battles on the way back. Why not? I might die. I'm running low on MP here. And uh, HP a little bit, too. may want to use, uh, yeah, yeah, I want to use a Medical Herb after this battle. I hope you don't mind me showing the backtracking if I think it's interesting, like like it will be, like I think it will be here. Okay, last one, guys. Can I make it back to Hamlet alive? We'll find out today. So far, so good. Do not go north into those hills. You will find baboons there. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Well, the encounter rate went back to normal. Finally. Um, let's have Orpheo parry for now. Lodo can uh, take out those healers in one shot. And if Orpheo attacks the zombie, well, he'll get healed anyway. So, let's just do it like that. There we go. Oh, what the hell? Okay, there we go. I thought uh, Lodo could uh, one-shot them, but I was wrong. Uh, 
Orpheus taking quite a few hits there, but well, we gained a level. Hooray! Okay, and uh, heal up. Oh, man, I'm running out of resources here. Uh, that was the same battle as last time, so I figured, you know, I'm not going to show the same battle two times in a row. Okay, then we go straight east, and we should be good. Almost there. Almost there. Come on, no baboons. Whew. Yes! Woohoo! Made it back in one piece. Oh, thank goodness. I almost ran it out of MP there. Whoo! All right. Okay, now, uh, who was I supposed to use that mirror on? Oh, right, the bitch. Okay, so we got, we got the dog. We got the dog right here. So, let's see, there it is, the Mirror of Ra, let's use it. Hey, hey, all right, we found her. Yeah, yeah, as many of you guessed, <laughs> I like that, freeing her from her furry form. But yeah, as many of you have guessed, we have to use the Mirror of Ra and the dog here to free the princess. Oh, she's going to offer us her services, huh? Wink, wink. No, nah, no, nah, just kidding. More party members! Alright, and now our party is complete. We have all of our party members. She starts at level 1, again. Although it actually makes remote sense compared to the prince. But if she com comes with heal more, I think that only heals like 50 MP, but still pretty good. Um, she's basically the pure mage of the game, who, uh, well, she, she doesn't have very good attack power. Although I do want to give the magic knife to her, because, well, it increases her attack pretty well, actually. And she can actually equip it, so maybe if there's an enemy I need to finish off, might be useful there. Hey, let's put that lottery ticket to use. Why not? Let's screw around while we're at it. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I know how to play. Come on. I heard there's, like, a way you can manipulate this if you, like, really know how the slots work, but I don't, and I don't care. You could, like, save before you do this and then do it over and over and over again, just reset and, uh, try to get something. The wizard's wand would be really good for the princess there, but, well, apparently not. Well, apparently I can't get it, I mean. Uh, let's see, how much gold do I have? Hmm. Let's see, if I have 333 more gold, let's see. Damn it, I'm 40 gold sh short. I want to have 1500 gold. Is there anything else I could sell? I've got an antidote herb and a bamboo stick, but I don't think that's, uh, I don't think it's going to help very much. Well, we might as well sell that. Well, that's 15 right there. What else do we got? Can I sell your clothes, princess? I'm selling them. Okay, that should be... Well, if it's not enough, it should be darn close. Let's see, sell the ch chain sickle there. Game? Oh, come on! I'm so close! Okay, fine. Uh, antidote herb. We'll sell that. Okay, there. Now I've got my 1500 gold. So now we can go up here and buy the almighty broadsword for the hero. Yes. That is a very good weapon at this point in the game. Uh, let's take a look at what else we, we can get here. We want to get the iron spear for, um, uh, well, for the Prince of Kanak there. And, uh, eventually I do want to get the full plate armor for the hero and maybe the steel shield for the hero. I'll think about it. It is pretty expensive, but, uh... Yeah, I'll probably get it. It'd probably take about half an hour or so to get all that stuff, so that's pretty good there. But uh, yeah, let's uh, equip that. What's my attack power now? 56, okay. So if I equip that, 71. Not bad, not bad. Okay. So yeah, it's a pretty good increase in attack power. So now, let's see. Yeah, I already rested up at the end there. So now let's head out and do some more level grinding. I'll show you where I want to uh, do that in just a moment. Oh, and look, the world map music changed. I love when they do that, you know? They change the world map music a little bit in the game now that we got all of our party members, so that's nice. Now, this, these hills right to the southeast are where I want to do my level grinding. 
Um, let's have the princess uh, parry for now, because she's at such a low level for now. But, uh, yeah, this is where I want to do my level grinding, because you can run into lizard flies, zombies, no baboons. So, you know, you're pretty, I mean, you'll get pretty good experience and gold around here. Probably the toughest enemies that we can handle right now. Uh, you might want, you could grind at uh, Moonbrook Castle, but the problem with that is um, the encounter rate isn't as good as it is around here. We want to stay pretty close to the village for now, so that way if I ever need to, I can rest up at the inn there. Um, let's see, let's take out the lizard fly there. Alright. And I just figured I'd show you uh, well, what I'm going to be doing with Gwen here. Uh, Gwen, uh, being and so inexperienced for now, she'll gain her first few levels pretty fast, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, eventually I may want to have her attack with the magic knife. I mean, it's not critical, but it's... Oh, okay. Well, let's have Gwen fi finish him off. Why not? Come on, Gwen! Yeah! There you go. I knew you could do it. Yeah, she can deal about four or five damage, you know? I mean, that's not bad for a princess. Not great, but not bad. Alright, she got up to level 2 and learned a new spell. Perhaps my favorite spell in the whole game. The sleep spell. It does what it did in the last game. Puts enemies to sleep. But more importantly than that, it works on a lot of enemies. Like a lot of the really annoying enemies in the game. Like the baboons. Uh, it also works on, um, what is it, those lizard flies that I met up with earlier there. Works on them too as well. So that's something that, uh, you know, you can use to, and it hits a group of enemies, by the way. Not all enemies, just one group. J just so you know. But it only costs 2 MP. It's really cost efficient, and it's a real great way of disabling enemies. Very few enemies are resistant to it, so that's pretty nice too. I really like that, and I really like all the level grinding that I'm going to be doing here to get all that equipment between now and next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! This is HC Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!